How are you feeling? All right, Rick. How are you today? Um, absolutely fantastic. You, are, you look great. <laughs> um, you're in Once the Musical with me. Mm -hmm. You play Billy. Yeah. You play Billy like <laughs> a monster. Are you enjoying being in the Olympia Theatre? Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. I think this, this is, that was one of the biggest things about it that struck me when we, got, when we actually got it out of the rehearsal room was just how, how kind of amazing the theatre is, mm. the Olympia is. Because um, it's, it's beautiful, but it's, it's kind of a little bit um, uh, daunting. This whole three-tiered kind of theatre thing is quite like full on, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, but it's amazing, absolutely gorgeous. And are you enjoying the experience of the show? And um, oh God, I mean, I'm, I, I'm having a ball. I'm having an absolute ball. And um, you know, there was a lot, a lot to learn in, in four weeks. Um, as you know, like you know, yeah, we, we all, you know, there's everybody has everybody has different strengths that they bring to the show. And um, and everybody has a, a huge amount of responsibility in the mm. show, um, and uh, so we've all been kind of kept on our toes. And I think that was coming in here was the transition from the the sort of the safety of the rehearsal room, and then coming here yeah. where it's all kind of sets all around you, and it, it kind of works in a way that's beautiful because it's almost like the 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 anger the. The dress circle kind of comes around onto the stage yeah. and comes around and back again out into the auditorium. I met Bob Crowley on the opening night, who uh, designed the set, and I was just saying to him just how how beautiful it was. Yeah. So, what was your earliest memory of the Olympia Theatre? My well, I think my, the Dubliners, because my dad was a, a member of the Dubliners, and he they sort of made the Olympia their unofficial home once a year. They they, they stopped kind of doing regular pub gigs around the place in favour of doing one big concert every year. So they do like a week at the Olympia and they pack it out for like, well, four days or a week or whatever. And I was coming in then and I became very friendly with Albert, who was the stage doorman, and Maureen Grant, who is uh, still, still uh, rocking today. Maureen, uh, Maureen runs Maureen's Bar, the back of the stalls. So, it was funny when we came in here, I was a little bit sort of nervous because I'd never played the Olympia before. And standing on the stage that my father would have stood on, uh, on the first preview was a big deal. And I got quite emotional that yeah. night actually, because it was. And the night that Glenn Hansard came in and we were singing the old triangle on the Olympia stage. Yeah. <laughs> it was all kind of like, my Very, God, yeah, mind very dream like, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And it is, it is a kind of, I, mean, I know it's cliche, but it is a kind of a dream come true. And, uh, it couldn't have happened in a better show with a better company of people. Oh, that's great. We're building a nice little family out of it now, so yeah. we're all good. And are you looking forward to the show tonight? I am, big time. I mean, it's, it's a kind of show that you kind of have to, you have to gear yourself up for because it's, yeah. quite a, it's quite a big show and, you know, you have, to come, you have to come at it with a certain energy. And then once you kind of, once you commit with that energy um, from the beginning, then the show kind of takes over and and, and, and you, you, you relax into it, I find. Yeah. But if you kind of, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's about just getting into the right headspace, I think, yeah. Brilliant. Phelan, yeah. thanks very much. Fantastic.